I was 30 kilometers away from the nearest city, taking a walk to search for somebody who could get me a ride before the night falls. I used my drone to uncover the area from above, but all that I could see was clear of human presence. After some time, I heard somebody farming wood in the forest, but there was no way to get to him, so I had to move on on the road. After two hours of walking, I found the nearest inhabited village that seems to be two kilometers away. When I got to the village, I met four people loading a truck and I didn't want to make bad impressions with the camera, so I shut it off. And with the help of the pictures, they understood my situation and one of them named Osman invited me to his house to stay until a pickup car was available. So I managed to get to Borshka, which was the nearest city where I stayed the night having two keys for two different places at the same time. The next morning, I went to fix the car problem, thanks to the help of this truck driver, who showed me the fastest and cheapest way to get it fixed. In afternoon, I got back to my original place and I felt like buying a tasty chocolate cake to celebrate my survival. The city of Cappadocia is located in central Turkey. It's characterized by the fairy chimneys which originated from erosion. And as I was taking a walk, I observed a horse ranch to the side. So I wanted to try riding a horse and the experience is different because horses move according to how you tell them to by your sound. slowly moving and enjoying the slow transition between the places, while in the same time I get to build friendship with the horse.
Later I met Martin from Bulgaria and we went on hiking doing 60 kilometers in three days, which was a record for me. Next morning, I wanted to wake up very early to watch one of the activities that's iconic to Cappadocia. And the first beautiful sound which breaks the silence was... Heading back home, I wanted to visit Istanbul once more, but this time to discover the local places. Together with my friend Martin whom I met again this time in Istanbul, we went visiting so many places where prices are much cheaper for the same quality of products in the touristy area.
underneath the largest mosque in Istanbul, which is located on top of a very visible hill. There's a museum for old Islamic artifacts that date back hundreds of years. Beside the mosque, there are places where you could order food for very cheap prices. Kadikoy is one of the popular places where locals go to and the day we visited it, there was a football match resulting in the place being very crowded and active. The Turkish football fans are known for being very enthusiastic about their teams, making a very interesting atmosphere, even more than the match itself. <laughs> We tried to buy tickets, unfortunately it wasn't available, but overall we shared with the fans and were happy.